Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. In this series, we're going to be taking on what has come to be known as the Masochist Challenge. In this challenge, we have to build a deck based on cards that we pull from the Master Pack. Every time we win a duel, we will be able to purchase one of these packs to see what cards we get to possibly add to our deck. We will also be able to pull from the Legacy Pack. Anytime we collect a Legacy Ticket, we'll be able to pull from this pack as well. Unfortunately, we will not be able to buy structure decks to help us or pull from secret packs that are unlocked when you pull certain ultra rare and secret rare cards. We will not be able to do this. All credit for this challenge is going to go to the YouTuber Simo who came up with this idea. The whole point was to build a deck with random cards and see how far you can climb the rank system in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And with all of this out of the way, let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Masochist Challenge. We are going to start off this episode by opening our Master Pack that we won last episode at the very end. So let's get right into this, see what we get. Another Golden Pack. Hopefully we get something good. That's, that's the hopes. Uh, Destiny Hero Draw Hand, um, okay, I mean, you know, we don't really have heroes right now, so it's not really a big thing. Usaric Slider, uh, we don't have Usaric cards, or however you say that, <clears throat> not a big thing. Final Fusion, during either player's battle step, when a fusion monster you control battles an opponent's fusion monster, Target both of those fusion monsters, negate their attack, and if you do, each player takes damage equal to the combined attack of both of those fusion monsters. Uh, this this doesn't apply to us because we don't play any fusion monsters currently. Ooh, one tuner, one non-tuner monster. This is a generic level four, and itself is a tuner. Once per chain, during your opponent's main or battle phase. You can quick effect. Immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one synchro monster. We don't have other Crystons, but I think we can play this. It's got decent enough stats. It, it is a level four tuner itself, so we could definitely utilize this. It's definitely better than some of the extra deck monsters that are just dead in our extra deck that don't do us anything, so that'll, that'll definitely go on the deck. It's generic. Photon Thrasher cannot be normal summon or set, must be special summon from your hand while you control no monsters. Cannot attack if you control another monster. Okay, this is definitely going in our deck. It's a level 4 light warrior, great stats. Um, yeah, we can spe special summon this out just like a cyber dragon in a sense, or our primitive butterfly, and then throw a level 1 tuner on the field. Uh, or a level 2, I should say, a level 2 tuner on the field and boost this up to our Synchro Monster. So, yeah, we're putting that in the deck. Chaos Core. This is Sacred Beast support, so this isn't going to come into play for us right now. Ambush Fangs. Activate only when a face-up Venom Monster. We don't have Venom Monsters, so... Oh, <laughs> Dragon's Mirror? Are you kidding me? Fusion summon one dragon fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your field or graveyard. This is great as soon as we can get our dragon deck up and running. Big takeaways from this right now is definitely the synchro monster, the photon thrasher, and the mirrors, uh, the dragon's mirror for sure. Good cards, really good cards. All right, here is the new deck profile. All we did was take out the Shallowed Grave because it really just hasn't come up. And in all honesty, it's it's kind of a detriment with our opponent being able to draw a card out of their graveyard too. So I'm not about to let them do that. It's just it's not going to pair with our Yomi ship as much as we want. Like we'll we'll draw both cards. We'll probably not draw them together enough to utilize that strategy so no big deal um and then that way we were able to uh put in the photon thrasher for our main deck and then we took out both of our fusion monsters that we would never be able to use anyway and we put in our new uh crystron 
and we also put in the Great Fly um, into the deck. I honestly don't think Great Fly is going to come up all that often because the wind monsters that we have to link into them are our tuner monsters and our primitive butterfly. So if we had those out, we we're going to go into our synchro monster before we go into our link monster with them. But it's there as an option just in case. And uh, with all of that, that's that's the updated deck for our deck profile for our new XY Zingro deck. So, all right, we won the coin toss and just chose to go first, and our hand is looking pretty decent. We save this for right now. I think what we're gonna do is we'll set our foolish return, and then hmm, it's probably playing Sky Strikers, but we're gonna. We're going to set the Yomi ship. And we're going to pass right here because obviously there's really nothing else more that we can do. Actually, there's nothing we can do at all. Um, I'm really hoping they're not playing Sky Strikers, but if they are, then they're not even going to worry about the Yomi ship because Sky Strikers just attack directly, which is really annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the deck. Um. But I guess we're going to see what's going on here. It, it looks like he's having some sort of connection issue, so we might end up a uh, connection loss sort of itch issue. Nope, he's playing. He's play, playing a branded card. Does branded... I don't think... I don't know if you can actually fuse branded with Sky Strikers. It wouldn't surprise me if he, you know, has a very niche way of doing it, but he's probably just playing branded. There goes that. I mean, we just played we just played against two Desvia decks last episode, so you know it is a possibility that we actually beat this again. But we just have to get some of our cards that are just unoutable by you know their level monsters. So, but we'll see what they do. Um, obviously, since they're not playing Sky Strikers, they have to attack into us, and we have you know, the best possible card for them to attack into, unless their monster says, you know, unaffected by card effects or, or you know, destroy, can't be destroyed by card effects or whatever, but hopefully they don't play anything like that and we can just get them outed by them just attacking us. That'd be fantastic. Of course, there's our little friend that they like to play a lot virtuous card here branded lost okay sure do what you do it's just insane that since we've made this deck we've played against a despia deck three out of four duels so far yep send in your spriggans kit i don't know why it took him so long to put that on the field he's got two level fours he can obviously synchro into a level eight, but he's more than likely gonna either fusion summon, XYZ summon. Of course, he's playing branded fusion, could be expected. It is what it is. And we basically just lose from here because now he can just go straight in for all of his attack. Mount on board. There's nothing we could do there. I mean, he actually was playing branded, like, you know, Albion, uh, Mirror Jade, like all the actual good branded cards. Like the other the other decks we're fighting against were more Despia related than branded related. So if we come across branded, it's basically over just like this. So, all right, next duel, we won the coin toss when we're going first. Um, honestly, we got some decent decent cards here we don't have this is for the other one um i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna special summon our photon thrasher face up of course in attack position we're gonna use him as our uh, offensive force and we're gonna set our starry knight fairy card here for our defensive purposes and we're gonna pass we could have gone into our black ship, but I don't want to commit all that much just yet. What are we playing? Trap Tricks. That's quite annoying. Trap Tricks is a very, very annoying deck. I 
they basically lock us out from being able to use any of our trap cards because they're just unaffected by them. So that's a third of our, uh, you know, deck basically gone. Not so much because we don't have that many trap cards, but the trap cards that we do have are decently usable. And now not being able to use them at all is quite a hindrance to us, especially like if we draw into them, it's just like a dead card. So... I don't really know uh, what we should do at this point. Okay, there goes the Thrasher. I'm also using a new uh, third party system thing here where it keeps track of all of your cards that are left in the deck that you could potentially draw. Let's see, like, yeah, the, these are the trap cards that we have. I mean, I guess they're not all that. I mean, I mean, Dimension Slice is good. Lost Wind is good. This is okay. This really... I mean, technically, I think we can still use this because even though the trap tricks themselves aren't affected by trap cards, this could potentially lock us down or lock them down from using some uh, trap cards of their own. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what, what card could we draw that could help us out their board. Hyper Hammerhead would be good. Yomi Ship would help us kill them. Uh, I'm not really seeing too much. Like obviously this, as long as they don't like keep banishing stuff like they did to our uh, Thrasher, would just be a good way to allow them to not attack us. Next turn, if if we don't draw anything good, it's just, they're just gonna get out of hand. Sure. Oh, I didn't know this came back. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay, that's nice. That's fine. That, that's annoying, but whatever. This is this is why trap tricks are so stupid. It just m messes with your board and then like takes everything that they got rid of of yours and brings them into their stupid XYZ monsters. It's just, and then they just have infinite fuel to use their effects on you. I think we, we I think we do this. We're gonna special summon this and hope that they don't like acid trap hole or you know some sort of trap hole it. Okay, cool. Can you please not activate? All right, we're just we're just gonna. I'm not I'm not dealing with this. There there's nothing we can do. All right, we once again won the coin toss and decided to go first. This is looking very similar to our last hand, which is not the greatest because I'd rather have red gadget here because red gadget will allow us to search yellow gadget out of the deck, but it doesn't go in the reverse because this searches a green gadget, which we don't have. But what I think we're gonna do is let's set our fairy, let's set dimension slice, let's set lost wind, pray they don't have Harvey's feather duster so that way we can at least use our two trap cards and see what they do with their turn, see what they're playing. Yeah, that last, that last duel just, the trap tricks are just one of the most annoying things to have to, to deal with. They're not like the, I mean, recently they've gotten some really good support to really boost the usability of the deck, the, the uh, like how good the deck really is, like it, it's it's pretty good now these days but it's still not like the greatest thing out there like i'd probably much rather deal with trap tricks on a normal basis than something like labyrinth but our deck just can't even come close to being able to help out anything of the trap tricks uh let's see we just pulled our magician which is pretty good for us we could I think what we're gonna do is I don't know what this is. What is this? Spellcaster, Exo Sister. Okay, that's that's 
really annoying. Exo sisters are stupid. But at least we're kind of prepared for what they're about to do. Because our trap cards are quite helpful for this uh, situation that we find ourselves in. Okay, great. There goes our Lost Wind. That's fine. We're just going to go into battle. Lost one was kind of our better card for this uh, specific situation, but I think Dimension Slice is actually equally as good. We just have to special summon something to our side of the field in order to activate it, so. Um, not much more we can do here, so we're just going to go to the end phase and see what they do on their next turn here. But they passed, so that's cool. Um... But I think what we're going to do is we're going to summon our fairy here, go into black ship, which I think that's probably what we're going to do here. We're going to go straight into battle. And we're going to start hitting for a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Help us drain your life points faster. And that's a really good card. That is a one of the best cards in that deck. And now they're gonna go into their XYZ. Which isn't good because if they if we take battle damage, it pops if we take any damage at all, it's gonna pop this card for free, and that's exactly what's about to happen. Or he'll just banish that but yeah I mean he's gonna he's gonna deal this was this was the risk of putting this in attack position um, unfortunately there's nothing we can do at this point uh, next turn more than likely what we'll do is uh, set hyper hammerhead so that they can out their own card but I mean they could just potentially pop our card right off the board too and banish it like they just did the other card our black ship so maybe the best thing to do is actually attack them take the damage pop that off the board but that just means that they can resummon this out we really need this in the graveyard so i don't know if hyper hammerhead's effect is really the greatest thing to go for uh let's see here is there anything else we could potentially do i mean this is a tuner all right this is we're gonna have to do it this way We'll set this. Oh yeah, this this was perfect. See ya. Hopefully they don't have any response to our trap card here and negating it, but it wouldn't surprise me if they did. But there goes that, that's great. <clears throat> now we can summon our magician. And then we're going to go into our synchro monster. And swing for game because that this is incredible we actually beat exo sisters with our non okay oh come on pay of course they have a one last trick up their sleeve uh, let's just get rid of that of course they had to just stall us another turn this isn't now this isn't looking good I spoke too soon, and this is the result of that. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, that goes back to the deck at least. That's good. Hopefully they just bricked. Of course not. I mean, they're really draining their life points. We're going to get Martha back again. Of course. Of course. I mean, the good news is, is at this point, we attack them with almost any one of our monsters directly and we'll win. So, we just need to find a way to attack this, or out this, and then attack. If, right now, Cyber Dragon would be the pull that we need, because we would special out the Cyber Dragon, special out the Hyper Hammerhead, attack with the Hyper Hammerhead to out this card, and then attack for game. Cyber Dragon would be such a good pull right now. Or, I don't know, let's see. What, anything else that we could potentially... Oh my goodness. I spoke and it came into existence. We we literally 
as long as they don't have some sort of weird card in their hand, we've literally won this game. What, what an outcome. Battle, please. What are you going to do? What, what do you have that you can do against this? We did it. We did it. I cannot believe it. We pulled exactly what we needed. This is incredible. What what a way to come back. What a way to come back. All right, guys, we're going to pull our pack, and I am going to decide that uh, we are going to at least pull the one who serves raw because it is part of the 25th anniversary. We at least did win a duel uh, in order to do this. Um... It, when it comes to all the other things that are free, I'm still going to leave it up to you guys if we, if you think that we should at least be able to do this while we have one free pull. Um, while these things are up, these things, again, once they're gone, this these specific packs aren't going to come back. So pulling one pack out of these really isn't going to do too much. But seeing how this deck or this pack is at least part of the anniversary event, everybody should be able to utilize it. We are going to pull this. If you guys really don't think we should use any of the cards that come out of here, we can just crunch the cards, get rid of them, and then we can pull a uh, Master Pack in place of it. But I, again, I don't think we're going to get so many things out of here that's just going to bust our deck because it's one pack. Um, Mother Spider Splitter. Um, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card. That's great. We like that. You can tribute this card. You cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except XYZ monsters. Also special summon up to three baby spider from your hand and or deck. And if you do, they become level five, but cannot be used as materials for, for an XYZ summon except the XYZ summon of a dark monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. We are probably going to put this in our deck. It is an insect. It's definitely going to go into our insect plant deck because it'll pair with our other level 5, our primitive butterfly. We are still actually running primitive butterfly in our main deck, which means we now have two insect monsters. And I think we have a very specific XYZ monster that lists two level 5 insects. So we might be able to play that now. But. Uh, yeah, probably this will probably go into our deck because again, it's a it's another way to also synchro summon. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Heavenly Dragon Circle tribute one. Okay, we're not. Oh, this is a tenny cart, tenny thing. I, I don't see us using this. Uh, dogmatic. Okay, this is a Dogmatica card. We this is for Ritual Monster. We don't have anything Dogmatica. Re really related uh, elemental hero bubble man very classic uh, hero card probably wouldn't really come up all that much anyway it is a warrior going to our warrior cards but even like i probably wouldn't end up using that in our warrior deck regardless we have a fairy we have a new fairy uh if a monster that was originally an Earth Fairy is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard, except during damage step, you can special summon this card from the hand. You can only use this once per turn. Don't know really how much that would help us. It would have to be like our turn to continue doing stuff with this after it special summons out onto the field. But, you know, it's a fairy card. Uh, Sun God. This is the one of the new raw... Uh, trap cards, it's not really going to help us all that much. Zolga the Prophet, another fairy monster. At least this has got some good attack. This this could go into our fairy deck for sure. If you control an earth fairy monster, except this, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then look at the top five cards from the deck of each player's deck. When a monster that was normal summoned by tributing this card declares an attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy that monster, if you do inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent, you can only use this once per turn. This is really cool. This is definitely going to go into our fairy deck. I don't really think this effect is really going to come up all that much with our fairy deck. Because I don't think enough of them are earth fairies. Okay, we could put this in the deck and be able to utilize that effect. So, I mean, they're both fairies. They would definitely both go into our deck. And then Embodiment of Apophis. 
uh, very classic trap monster card. We actually might put this into the deck because it's at least another resource on field. Again, wasn't really concerned pulling cards out of this pack because none of this is really all that helpful. Like apart from the fairy takeaway for our fairy deck, uh, this is this is generically a good card for our decks because it can special summon itself. It's a level five, and its defense is pretty decent. But yeah, nothing like super crack that's going to bust our decks in any given way, shape, or form. So I'm, I'm glad that we at least utilized the one draw for uh, the one who serves Raw because it's the 25th anniversary. Um, do we really have... To, oh yeah, we do have two special tickets. I'll let you decide if we should be allowed to use our two special tickets. I mean, it was something that the game gave us for logins. I'll let you guys decide if two more packs out of here is really worth it, considering what we just drew wasn't all that great to begin with. So anyway, that's going to be our pull for our last win there. And let's go check our legacy tickets. We seem to have four. Let's pull them. Ultra rare border. Highly doubt we're actually going to get an ultra rare card. And I'm standing corrected. Look at this. Chew bone. Flip. Special summon of three chew bone junior tokens uh, it, to your opponent's field in defense position. I don't know why that would be so helpful for us. Uh, we're definitely not playing that regardless. And what is our junk warrior? Okay. We need a junk synchron in order to summon this. And one. Uh, plus non-tuner monsters. If this card is synchro summoned, it gains attack equal to the total attack of all level 2 or lower monsters you currently control. Uh, very cool classic card. We can't utilize this because it specifically needs Junk Synchron, which we don't have, but really cool to pull and see. I don't know, I just clicked both of those simultaneously, but when a spell trap card is activated while well, it controls face up elemental hero, negate the activation and destroy it. Um, if we do use the very few hero monsters that we have which i think right now is just the bubble man i can't remember anything else this would be like not even helpful for that deck because one hero is not going to make us decide to put this into the deck um and then supo robo yaru um this this isn't going to come into effect because we have none of the fusion materials needed for this or polymerization to actually fuse them so uh whatever Oh, wow. Summon Gate. Each player can special summon a maximum of three monsters from the extra deck each turn. We are putting this into our deck because this is a great floodgate. We're not special summoning even two monsters a turn. So this is really good. Or especially from the extra deck, I should say. Um, definitely not special summoning uh, two, two monsters from the extra deck. Uh, and what's this? Burning Soul. Quick play spell. If you control a level 8 or higher Synchro Monster, I don't think we have this as a criteria yet. Add one card from your graveyard to your hand. Accept Burning Soul. And immediately after this resolves, Synchro Summon using monsters you control as materials. For the rest of the turn after this card resolves, your opponent cannot target Synchro Monsters on the field with card effects. And you can only use this once per turn. Pretty interesting card. I don't really see us making a deck that's going to be able to utilize this effect at all yet. Uh, maybe someday. But but absolutely putting... This is probably one of our best pulls for this series so far. Because this is going to really limit our opponent more than it's going to limit us. Like, 100% of the time. Because, we again, we aren't going to be special summoning from the extra deck more than once a turn. Really good card. Wow, we're getting a lot of gold, and we got that UR guard dog. Um, flip, your opponent cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. It's a good effect. Unfortunately, it requires it to flip. And by the time it's flipping, it's probably getting attacked into. And by that time, our opponent has already special summoned stuff. So, unfortunately, this is not going to come into effect for us. Um, let's see what this is. Pendulum Area. 
this is not coming into play for us. I mean, we do have the two pendulum monsters in our deck, but it's, uh, there's no point in that. There's no point. All in all, big takeaways from this is, well, honestly, it's just this. This is going to our deck immediately. This was cool to draw, but again, we can't use it. Oh, well. All right, starting with the changes that we've made to our fairy deck, we got rid of this fairy here. We, we ended up taking out two fairies from the deck. We took out this fairy here because it doesn't really help us all that much other than being a fairy. And then we also got rid of our uh, level one that had zero tag, zero defense fairy that usually stuck right here in the uh, deck slot. Got rid of those. They didn't really, they didn't do anything for us at all apart from just being fairies and we added in our two new ones uh this one and of course this one and then on further inspection we actually this here is a earth fairy and this one here is an earth fairy so that's why we kept those two in here because that'll help us i think with this so pretty cool all in all and then we also were able to add in of course the new trap card our summon gate, really good, really good floodgate for us. Um, and I think that's generally it. Th uh, there, there is one more card that we got rid of because that's three cards that we added. We got rid of the one card hand trap that was in our hand that like retargeted an attack to like a defense position monster. Um, so we no longer have that synergy, but we still have the Omi ship, so that's still good. And then in our XY Zingro deck, we also have, of course, we took out Gaia again um, and added in our Floodgate. And then we also got rid of the card that allowed us to retarget um, from a defense position attack monster. We also got rid of that in this deck as well so that we could add in the Spider. Just more in general, I think the Spider is going to come up more than the, the strategy to retarget so no big deal of course i mean sure we had other cards like this like this is basically a double yomi ship idea that we had if we kept the other card but it just that strategy really wasn't coming up as much and i'd rather be able to summon this out have a tuner go into our synchro monster so uh i think that is the main changes for the normal deck here that we're running Again, I, this this is pretty big for us. This is probably our best card yet because it's really going to limit our opponents from being able to just continuously special summon to their side of the field. So those are the decks. Let's go get into another duel. All right, here is the next duel. Our opponent won the coin toss, so we are going second. Our hand is not looking all that great. I mean, we do have some uh, defense going on here with our Ice Mistress. As long as they're not playing anything that are like level 3 and lower, we should be fine because they won't be able to destroy this by battle. That's a level 1 monster with zero attack. Okay. Might be going into like a Link Spider potentially. That's, that's what that's looking like to me. Nope, he's, okay, he's playing this deck. Okay, this is going to take him a while to can just go through his board because this thing just special summons like crazy. So as soon as he's done, I'll bring you guys right back in. But you're not going to really miss much. He's just setting up, so I'll see you in just a second. All right, he summoned out uh, Regulus here. There's no way we're really going to be able to get rid of this, like, Back to square one, he'll just negate, and that's really our only out for him. So I'm just going to pack it up right here. This I don't want to waste our time. We'll go into another duel. All right, our opponent won the coin toss, but decided to let us go first. Our hand is something to be desired right now. Like I wish we had like our Synchro Monster going in, but it looks like he's probably playing the Galaxy Eyes Photon deck. And if he's updated it, uh, apart from like the normal structure, starter deck, whatever, uh, he's just going to slaughter us. But we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll wait it out and see what he actually does here. Uh, I think our best play 
in all honesty right now is probably just set our defensive wall and pass because obviously we don't have any spells or traps to continue playing past that point but we'll see what he does it's not quite enough to finish this off unless this what is this doing Okay, there it is. Yep. Well, kind of saw that coming. Not gonna lie. All right, we won the coin toss. We decided to go first. This is looking fairly decent. Let's special summon this out. Uh, I really hope this works. It does, okay, good. Um, we're going to go right into our Virgil and hope he doesn't have uh, the greatest deck to go against this right now. Our simple setup, he's got 15 cards in the extra deck. This is not a quick play spell, but that is, that's our turn. That's all we got. If he's truly playing Runic though, I, I don't know, I think I'm just going to give up for today because... <laughs> He, runic is just gonna destroy us it's gonna just be a long slow burn into our inevitable defeat yeah he's playing he's playing runic, so we're just we're gonna go we're gonna go all right our opponent won the coin toss again and decided for us to go second again uh, no big deal our hand is okay I wish I could be seeing a couple different cards in here but Labyrinth, uh, I just, I don't know what this, what's going on right now. I'm not dealing with Labyrinth, though. All right, our opponent won the coin toss on this one and let us go first. So I think fairly simply, just based off of what I'm looking at, we're going to set our fairy that can't be destroyed by battle, pray that he doesn't have a way to out it outside of battle, and we'll just sit here for a moment to maybe gather up an actual strategy based off of what we got um in a way it's almost kind of feasible if they do out our card because then if they have a monster on the field we can special summon cyber dragon normal summon out our uh, level one tuner here go into virgil if that might be a solution to whatever they're doing they're playing dragon maids that is not the greatest thing for us Dragon Maids is pretty strong, uh, relatively strong at least, like it's, they just start going into their fusion monsters that just keep floating back and forth and it is never a good thing for us. Yeah, this, this isn't the greatest. We have back to square one, which is good. We're going to actually, we're, let's start with that. Let's back to square one. We will drop this we'll target that get that out of here or it might activate its effect I'm not sure actually no it doesn't look like it can I don't know what he's got that uh, okay he's got a trap card downtime okay sure that's that's fine that's fine uh, kind of weird that uh, they're doing that but that's fine at least it's still outed um, I guess what we can do is we're gonna flip this we're just gonna attack he's gonna pot he's gonna activate that uh, that's fine Gonna return that to the hand. That's gonna activate from the hand or deck. It's gonna bring out another one of those. Sure. All right. Yep. Then we'll come here. Uh, there's really no point into going into Virgil at this point. We're just gonna set our monster again and pass because they're just gonna summon out something that's gonna beat over Virgil and there'd be no point in making him right now. It's kind of unfortunate that he prevented us from at least destroying one thing of his, but 
I kind of saw that coming because that Herodric seal just loves to float around before you can actually get anything off on it. So it's playing Dragon Maid Changeover. Confusion Summon, and there's the problem. But the thing is, is that they can't out this by battle. So unless they have another effect that can just pop this off our field before battle, it's not going to matter. That's, that's really nice. You're going to be very disappointed when you can't kill me. Yep, keep swinging. It's perfectly fine. I'm not worried about it. Uh, the problem is, is it's going to be really hard to out these floating Dragon Maid cards of theirs. In all honesty, I don't think we do anything here. I, I think we just pass here. We're not going to do anything. We can't swing over anything of theirs besides this thing here with a Cyber Dragon, but that wouldn't be worth bringing out. Like, our defensive monster right now is our saving grace. I mean, our out for it would be setting Yomi ship and having them crash into Yomi ship could be the way of going about this, but we have to... Hyper Hammerhead would be another good one. But it's like... Uh, fire hand so that's like three cards in our deck that are like helpful for this situation but even that might not be enough and more than likely won't be enough dimension slice could be good if we can special summon to our field and then pop one other things lost wind another good one that we could use i mean we do have options but it's just like are we gonna draw any of those things to help us out at this point oh okay lost wind that's beautiful problem is they have two of these on the field we're just gonna set this and pass there's nothing we can do but it looks like they might have just outed our fairy up there it goes and they definitely have enough attack to finish us off at this point and there's the last attack they need and that's gonna wrap this one up all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video uh thanks for tuning in and watching it um next time we're gonna start the episode off by opening up our pity pack because we did lose five times in a row in this uh video um which is not what i wanted of course but the people that we were just ma getting matched up with just had way too good of decks against us like labyrinth that would have been a waste of time there's just nothing that we're going to do against Labyrinth. Uh, the Photon just destroyed us. Uh, the Dragon Maids just destroyed us. Uh, Runic, we weren't going to win just because it was just going to mill out our deck and then we just lose by deck out. And then, yeah, so it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. But um, anyway, uh, the guys with the new year coming up, uh, my goal for this channel is to hopefully get to like 50 subscribers we're almost there we're at 44 if you guys have been coming back and watching the videos enjoying the videos and haven't subscribed yet how about we get me to like 50 subscribers that'd be wonderful uh but apart from that guys uh again we're gonna be posting another video come friday so until then guys stay safe out there take care i'm protopon subscribe to the channel peace